This is the MS3X daughter board for the MS3. Turns out the injector drivers on it are um, less than uh, ideal. Um, resisting the word, using the word suck. But uh, yeah, saying they suck is uh, pretty accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them. Um, checking the wiring diagram online. It looks like uh, injector A is 19. 19 is right here, which if you follow that trace, that means U12 is A. So it goes 12. Let's see if I can get this to focus. No, can't get it to focus. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So we're going to remove 12, 11, 10, 9. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snip the leads. No going back at this point. Twelve. There's both leads there. That's three injectors. And then the fourth. Now, the tab is soldered down. So we're going to uh, do some reflow soldering to get these off here. I've got a... Uh, Flux pen, rosin flux. Well, we're just going to heat the tab and just get some of this flux all over these puppies. Okay, I've got this butane soldering iron with a uh, torch tip on it. No flame, just a lot of heat. Ooh, that hurts. Just going to Gently push on that while I heat it. Start seeing it bubble and get some heat just as it's getting hot enough to go. Try not to melt anything I'm not supposed to melt. Like the DB39. Or is it 37? Yeah, it's 37. Come on. See, this one's starting to boil over here. Come on, get off there. Lego, my ego. Ooh. Broke a chunk of it off. There we go. One down. See, it's starting to wiggle. There we go. Come on. Let's do this gently. Yeah. Oh, I left it to pad a little bit. Oh, well. Two down. I'm going to try to get these hot enough so that they don't lift the pads. down. That pad really wants to go away. I'll glue it down later. There we go. There we go. All four injector drivers removed. I can uh, jumper around these and run an external um, peak and hold board from JB Perf. Um, the, those have proven to be reliable in the past, but there's no room to put it in the case with all this Mega Squared 3 stuff. So I'll run it external. Now that injector driver that I don't trust is out of my way, I can just go straight from the CPU out that pin, put the peak and hold board in between this and the uh, injectors. I've got the, uh, the jumper wires installed. I've removed the uh, f first four injector drivers. I left the other four in case I want to drive like relays or something with them. I wouldn't drive injectors with them at this point. I don't trust them. But you can see I removed the surface mount resistors and then took from the 
see here's the, the 10 pin ribbon cable right here and you can see the traces come straight up here they go through some vias and do some funny things but uh, generally I, I metered them and they go to that side of each of those leading resistors sorry about the focus there but I jumpered from the the cable which is a uh, unbuffered CPU pins so you gotta be real careful with these outputs now you run those to 12 volt you're gonna fry the CPU so they, they go through these jumpers out where I'll have the peak and hold board um, in the wiring. But uh haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll cover that later.